Hey everyone, I'm Laura from Cherubs Chalks Interiors. This is Toby and it looks like he's joining me today. He's always in the workshop by my side. Anyway, back to business. Welcome to our channel and today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on my latest project which is this piece behind me which as you can see is gorgeous and vibrant blue. I've also given it a rustic distressed vibe with lots of waxes and layers. So I'm going to show you exactly how I did this in the following video. So here is how the linen cupboard began. I have updated so many of these pieces and I always like to do them slightly different. These are such versatile pieces as they can be used in almost any room and they make an ideal upcycling candidate as they can be styled in so many different ways. I always begin all of my projects by giving them a really good clean with white lightning. This is a tough degreaser which comes in a granule form and I mix this up with some water and spray it all over. Once I've given it a really good scrub, I rinse with plain water and wipe off any of the white lightning residue. Then it's time to give it a quick scuff sand. I always use my electric sander as it's quicker but this can be done by hand. A 120 grit sandpaper is perfect for a quick scuff sand. Now I'm going to use some Bunker Hill Blue for a base coat. I'm just going to apply one coat of this all over. I am going to paint a different colour on top of this but I will be distressing back so you will see peaks of this throughout. Once I've applied that all over and it's nice and dry, I'm going to apply two coats of Peacock. This is going to be the main shade. Peacock is a gorgeous vibrant blue and is really going to give this piece a colourful twist. I'm going to leave that to dry overnight and then I'm coming back with a 240 grit sandpaper which I'm going to attach to my electric sander and then I'm going to distress all over but focusing mainly on the edges where this would distress naturally over time. I'm looking for a really vintage authentic look here so I want it to look as though layers of paint have been built up over time and then worn back with age. I'm going to be taking this back in some places to the raw wood so you'll have layers of wood, the Bunker Hill Blue and the Peacock creating that industrial worn style. Now it's time to seal and protect this piece, but I'm also going to be adding some more age and dimension. But to start with, I'm going to use clear Bestang wax and I'm going to apply this all over using a natural bristle brush, working in straight and circular strokes to really work that into the paint. I'll leave that to dry for a few moments and then I'm just going to come back with a kitchen sponge and wipe off all of the excess. Now it's time to add that grunge and the dimension. I'm using Dixie Dirt in Earth and I'm just going to dab an artist brush into that and then just simply brush it over the wax in the areas that I want it around the drawer edges. As the wax is still wet, when it comes into contact with the Dixie Dirt, it will meld into one, making it strong and durable with no need to seal. Once that's all in where I want it, I'm just going to blend it out with another sponge, just making sure that it looks natural. Now the outside is looking beautiful, I can't just leave the inside looking plain and boring like it currently does. So it's time to get a contrasting colour, in this instance it's plum crazy and I'm just going to paint two coats of this all over the interior. And then I'm going to pop the handles back on and she's ready to go. Here is the finished result, the perfect mix between vibrant and colourful and grungy and industrial style. Although the Bunker Hill Blue underneath isn't a hugely contrasting colour, I really think it adds something to that grungy industrial style and looks like layers of paint have been built up over the years and worn back, which is exactly the style I was hoping to achieve with this piece. 
Here you can see how that pop of colour just adds something special when you open up those doors. The bright vibrant blue and pink are the perfect combination. Thank you for joining us today for our latest tutorial. We hope that you enjoyed the video and we can't wait to see some of your creations. Remember, if you'd like to subscribe to our channel, then you can get notified when we post our next videos. And if you want to go and find us on all the social media platforms, you can do by searching Cherubs Chalks Interiors. Bye for now, have a great day.